We are beginning tonight with uh, the Central Coast's movie event of the year. All this week, Hollywood film crews have been in the Santa Cruz area filming the movie of Men and Mavericks, the Jane Moriarty story. Today, most of the shooting was at Pearson Arrow Surfboards. The big event, scenes that will be shot at Pleasure Point tomorrow morning. They are recreating the famous Paddle Out Memorial after Moriarty's death in a diving accident 10 years ago. Right now, thousands of people are waiting to find out if they've been selected as extras. Action News reporter Phil Gomez was on scene for the preps, and he's got a look at what we can expect. Phil? Well, Dan, everyone's excited and anxious for tomorrow's big shoot for the movie of uh, Men and Mavericks, the Jim Moriarty story, because this is where all his friends and family said goodbye and pay tribute to the falling surfing legend. All was quiet at the hook at Pleasure Point Thursday. There were a few surfers catching waves, but the lights and cameras of Hollywood weren't here today. There's evidence production crews were busy preparing for Friday's key scene, though. It was 10 years ago that a paddle out was held to honor Jay Moriarty right here at Pleasure Point. Tomorrow, the producers will recreate that scene right on down to his memorial. Parking in and around the area is going to be a serious challenge, especially for the 1,000 extras selected to take part in the paddle out. It's a big challenge for the production crew to work out all those logistics. Well, we've got not only just 1,000 people coming, but 1,000 people coming with west suits and surfboards, so that makes it tougher to coordinate. We can't just shuttle them into shuttles because we need a place for their surfboards to go. So. That's part of why it is so difficult for us to make it all happen. The shopping plaza along Portola Road is somewhat of a home base for the film's crew. Despite a packed parking lot, businesses don't seem to mind the inconvenience. It's been good. We've gotten a lot of um, c customers coming in and stuff. Parking's a little bit off, but other than that, we've been really busy. You might recognize Coffeetopia owner Dave Larkin. He was an extra 25 years ago when The Lost Boys was filmed in Santa Cruz. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. What were you? What scene were you in? I'm <laughs> right in the opening credits. I'm walking across, and that's it. <laughs> Wait, three seconds of screen time. <laughs> Very good. I'm Bob Pearson. The owner of the Pearson Aero Surfboards didn't get the part to play himself, but is an extra in the film. Producer spent the day shooting at his shop. We've got uh, probably uh, three quarters of it done, and uh, I think they wanted to be out of there by one, but I think they're going to be a little longer. Again, there's still a lot of excitement and anxiety, but right now, hundreds and hundreds of people around the Santa Cruz area are waiting to find out where to park and where they check in. The producers tell me that everyone who's been chosen already as an extra will receive an email sometime tonight about where they're supposed to go for Friday's shoot. Dan? All right. Uh, now, Phil, what's the deal with the extras? They get paid or credits or what? No, Dan, what will happen is they'll receive free lunch, and also there will be a big raffle for many prizes that were donated by the locals. All right, very good. Thanks very much. Extensive coverage of this uh, on the air and on the web throughout the day. Action News reporter Tom Miller will begin our live coverage tomorrow on Action News Sunrise with updates, slideshows, pictures of the paddle out on the web at ksbw.com.